charging up in Plattsburgh once again. Had a great visit to Montreal, thanks to my friend Didier. All the follows I danced with at the dance and the wonderful person I met driving her Tesla. I showed her my electric motorcycle and she, her father owns a company that installs meters into condo buildings so you can have charging stations in them. That's one of the challenging parts about charging stations and condos is that you don't own the entire property and so it's hard to hard to set that up but they've figured out a solution so that's good so now I gotta charge up and then I got a long ride after that down to Lake George and then just keep on going so today's gonna be a long day but I get to sleep in my own bed at the end of it had another great experience at the US border in Canada coming from Montreal the border officer saw my chargers on the back of my motorcycle and he said, what are those? And I said, those are my chargers. That's how I keep going. And he says, is this electric? That's awesome. Didn't ask me any questions about any firearms or alcohol or anything like that, where I was going. He just asked, why was I visiting Canada for 24 hours? Is it a friend? That's it. So easy peasy, but not only easy, had a great conversation. It was really fun to chat with the border guards. Maybe I'll cross more often. That was a close one. Woo. Charging up at the charge point station at the Holiday Inn in Lake George, New York. Check this out. This is a sight to see. So on the way over here, it was 106 miles on highway. Uh, I guess the wind was going the opposite direction or something because I made it up there two days ago just fine. But coming back down here was a little hairy. When my bike gets to about 5%, it cuts back the power. And when I go into town, that's at the bottom of a valley. And so I had to come back up out of the valley uh, underpowered. In order to get here, I still had 5%, so I still could keep going, but uh, I couldn't go any faster than about 16 miles an hour uphill. So that was kind of a pain. I heard the 2015s don't do that. They have full power all the way to zero. So I would like a software update for that, please. Zero, if you're listening. But otherwise, went real smooth, charging up. Uh, I'll be ready to go in just a few minutes. And now I'm going to go about 75 miles down south of Albany. And I've got 200 miles to go today. It is about 2.30 p.m. Tally ho. Fun fact, on my way from Plattsburgh, New York to Lake George, New York, I put my telephone into my jacket, but not into a pocket. So it was just loosely hanging in my jacket the entire 106 mile ride down here. That was fun and exciting. Charging my zero at Crossroads Ford. And I uh, pulled in. It's Sunday, so normally no one's at car dealerships on Sunday. Pulled in, was able to do that, found the charger easily. It's right here, it's marked electric vehicle, complimentary charging station for everyone. It's very welcoming. And this guy comes out and he says, oh, I'm just cleaning up in here, but come on inside and you can have a seat. I was like, oh, okay, no problem. I think he's a cleaning guy. Turns out he owns the place. His name is Ron, wonderful guy. We had a great half hour, 45 minute conversation about electric vehicles. He is in it to win it. And uh, he supports the movement by doing this. It's great. So buy a Ford from Ron here at Crossroads Ford in Ravenna, New York. Uh, 
nicest guy. So I'm just having a wonderful experience here. Only 120 more miles to go. Ron actually gave me the option if I wanted to test drive a Ford C-Max Energy or Fusion Energy, I could go ahead and just do that. So he was willing to lend me a vehicle, let me use it. If I needed to go get some food, I could do that. So really amazing experiences when you open yourself up to new adventures. Travel slow. Good thing I gotta put in every time now. So whenever I charge, it comes out. Just shove it in. Looks like a charm. Cap it off. Charging at the Woodbury Common Outlets near Harriman State Park in New York. Chatamo Fast Charger. I wish I could use that. Oh, that'd be amazing. But this one works. It's charging me right now, but the station says there's trouble. So that's a little concerning, but let's hope it continues working that way. One more charge and then I get home. Yeah, that's yeah, check them out. Man. I'm, I'm Ben. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Raymond. Raymond? Yes. Angel. Angel? If you're ever in the city, come to the Waldorf. I'm the dorm is there. So, all right, the Waldorf? Waldorf. All right. Okay, Take it easy. Nice and tall rope. Tall what? Rope like the bowl. Normally, you need to have a specific card for each type of charging station that you go to. So, I have a charge point card, a blink card, I have a SEMA Connect card that I've never used. And these charging stations are Energy EV Go. I don't have an EV Go card. However, this particular station just let me charge it started up without anything but if it didn't start up like this one i tried this one too and it didn't start up uh i can just call their number tell them the charger id and it'll start up for free but in the future i want to have direct current fast charging this is called level three charging this is called chatamo and it's got this massive plug wow and this will charge me up. This could potentially charge me up to 80% in, I think, half an hour or an hour. Awesome. So that would cut my charging time about in half. These always cost money because it's a lot of electricity. A level three station to install costs about 20 to $50,000, whereas a level two station like this one costs 500 to $2,500. But that's the way we want to go. So it's charging up my bike. Time to eat. Just had dinner at the Woodbury Common Outlets. Motorcycle is charged up to 66%. I need to go 44 miles and at one mile per percent. I have more than enough to get home. Time to go home. I'm not going to wait for it to charge to 100%. So I'm about to go get home. Trip is almost finished. First stop in my hometown, before I even get home, there's my motorcycle, is Nana's Pizza, where they have charge point stations, charge your electric cars here or over here. The guy who owns it, Tom Malagny, great guy, has a BMW i3 with this license plate. Ooh. I made it home safe and sound, yay! There's my motorcycle in the garage. And unfortunately, I dropped my top box onto the floor and this used to hold a beautiful bottle of Canadian maple whiskey. And it still holds the pieces of the bottle, but all of the maple whiskey are on the floor. Oh man, I was looking forward to that too. What a trip.